Hi guys, welcome back to Spoodapods. Today we are talking about the ultimate friend for almost all invert enclosures and those are springtails. Now springtails, I won't be giving a scientific name, so there's lots of different types and most of the time any type will do. So we will skip that a bit to not confuse everyone and myself. Let's talk a little bit about springtails. So springtails are hexapods, they're not actually insects and they're also detritivores. That means they eat decaying basically biomatter, all sorts of stuff. They'll eat decaying leaves, um, things your spider or other inverts may leave behind. They'll eat mold, all sorts of things. And that makes them really, really helpful to have in many enclosures. Now, as I mentioned kind of at the start of the video, or implied, springtails are pretty much the ultimate buddy to have in, I think I would argue, almost every invert enclosure. So, I mean, Rosie from Entoscape will probably agree with this because we had a little chat about it via email. But from my research, I found they can pretty much go in any invert enclosure. There's very few they won't um, coexist with or just do really well with. And they really are incredibly useful to have in substrate because they just clean up all that stuff, all that mess that shouldn't be there, like all the mold growth. They clean up um, like the bits and pieces your spider may drop, like for example, a tank drops a bit of um, um, half-eaten stuff, I won't specify, and then it's left there and we can't find it. We find it's mostly gone. We do have some dwarf isopods in there as well, but we do see the springtails at work. It's quite cute seeing them scurry around and do all sorts of things. So they really are an, an excellent cleanup crew. and. We'll talk about this in another video with isopods, but people even recommend having them for pet isopod enclosures and isopods and tritivores too. But springtails are just that good to have in so many enclosures. That leads on to my next point. There is one type of enclosure that you shouldn't have springtails in, and that's a really arid and dry enclosure. You can't really just introduce a, a colony of springtails into, for example, a sand scorpion or desert scorpion enclosure because they just won't survive. Springtails need humidity. They need a decent layer of substrate and they need humidity, otherwise they just won't survive. That is probably the biggest um, threat to your springtail colony if soil dries out. We regularly sort of uh, mist and moisten our substrate for tanks benefit as well, but for theirs too. So we know that they're happy and healthy there and doing the job they're supposed to. Also, make sure if you do have springtails in your enclosure, they have stuff to eat. So if your uh, spider only eats occasionally, for a spider as an example, make sure you have some leaf litter in there. You can put some fish food, that was suggested to me as well, or just some bits they can just have a little chew on and keep on existing for. They will eat any mold that crops up as well, which is why we love them, because we had a little bit when we first set up our enclosure, have had none since we introduced them, really, really useful. But yeah, make sure they have the substrate to live in, plenty of humidity, and also, just a bit of food to make sure that they can keep going. So that's it. I really, really like springtails. I think they're really cute in a way, even though you can't really see them too well. They've settled right into tanks enclosure. We'll be having, we have them and have them, we'll have them in all our other enclosures as well because they're just so useful. Hopefully you will introduce them to yours if you haven't already. If you have, let me know how your colony is getting on. Any comments, happy to hear from you. But for this quick video, that's it. Take care and see you later.